What's going on? It's Rock from Flip the Thrift. Um, right now I'm in line at a bank and I'm waiting to deposit money. The line is super long. I was looking at my other um, intro video and I wasn't really feeling it, so I made another one. So anyway, my name is Rocco. I'm a reseller. What I do is I go to thrift stores, yard sales, estate sales. Um, I do retail arbitrage, which is going to like, you know, just like Walmart, any type of store and buying something low and selling it high, do that. Um, I make a full-time living out of that. I've been doing this for four years. Um, if you guys like this type of content, please um, leave a comment down below, like my video, subscribe to my channel, please, and let's get into the video. at the community aid I kind of wanted to get something to eat but I was like let me just go in here I'm just gonna shoot through this place it's half off day it's almost 1230 this place has already been ransacked I'm basically just going behind resellers so um, I may or may not find anything but um, I mean I look for shoes I look for older things um, there's a lot of things that I look for that other people may not look for and that's something that you need to take into consideration and you need to think about also when you're out and about. Um, just because there's a lot of resellers in the store, people going through the t-shirts, looking for Metallica shirts, you know, I mean, band, you know, for band tees and vintage tees. Um, those are the types of items that sell for really high amounts. But I also find other things. I look brands up when I see them. There's other ways around that. Like there's, you, you don't have to just stick to just one thing. In the beginning, it's confusing because, you you know, it would be best for you just to stick to one thing when you're first starting out as, you know, as to not get too overwhelmed. So, which is kind of what I did, but I dealt with it and I can deal with the pressure. So, it wasn't that big of a deal to me to learn a lot. I'm always in one place, you know, more than one place at a time anyway, like um, kind of ADHD type of, type of guy. So, um, I'm going to go in and we're going to see if we can find something. Okay, so here's a good example of finding things that people may have not noticed. These are zero restriction Gore-Tex golf pants. Gore-Tex golf, they're like windproof, waterproof. Um, these are gonna be half off. Half off of. $12.99, which is six bucks. Six fifty. Not too bad for some zero restriction. Here's another example. This is a vintage Pendleton. This is half off, fifteen dollars. It is missing the button, but the button was in the pocket. Always look in the pockets if it's missing a button. Okay, I got a couple of things. I'm going to show you guys what I picked up. Okay, we got this Polo Golf. It's a U.S. Open. 2011 congressional I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up it is new brand new with tag half off three dollars um, I got a new or this half off 250 probably get like 30 for that got a wool rich wool blend 250 nice little bird's eye got them your classic members only Members only jacket blue. I only pick them up when they're not real expensive. It's only three dollars. Um, I don't really pick polos up that much. This one is actually a cow neck. I usually do really well with these. Three bucks. Um, I got a nice little NBA hat. I don't know if I'm gonna keep that or not. It's um, I believe that is Golden State Warriors. Found a Laura Piana. It's a heart shaft and marks. It's a gold trumpeteer. I tried to find the pants for it. It may only just be the jacket. I'm not really sure. Um, got some Danscos and some Allegros. Two good brands like nursing clog shoes. They, they usually do very well. Okay, what's going on? It's Rock from Flip the Thrift. I am back at my 
crib. I'm down in the basement, aka the dungeon. Uh, I'm trying to get like use certain things to see um, if I can get a better um, a better picture, a better you know whatever you want to call it. But I seem to just keep you know I have all these things. I have I have all these different little gadgets and things that I just kind of made. But I mean. You know, just tripods and whatnot. I even have this one that I didn't even... This one's not even open. This is just a, your basic tripod. So, I just... I don't know. I'm just trying to get the right... The right view. That's, for lack of better words, I guess. The right... The right view. So, anyway, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Let's get a little bit more... Get comfortable up in this piece. So not too bad today. Um, I didn't get a whole lot of stuff. I did get some stuff for um, my grandchildren. An uh, item here and there. One for my kid. One of my sons. But uh, other than that, got mostly. I was gonna give this. I found this wallet. It's a thirty. It's a thirty-one. It's really nice. I'm probably just gonna resell it. I don't know what these go for. Um, I may even be surprised. It may even go for, you know, more than what I thought, thought I had smelled a little smell, it does have a little bit of, it does have a little stain, like right, like right in here, it has like a little bit of staining in there, but I don't know, I don't know what they're worth, probably not a whole lot, probably like 15 bucks or something, maybe, maybe if that, but, so we'll see, so here's an older brand, vintage, um, the brand is called Rough Rider, by Circle T. I thought they were really like unique. They kind of have the no, you know, no back pocket look of the 80s. They have the little buttons in the back. That's the back part. And then the front, they have like the little pleat, not pleated, but kind of like the Z Cabarici type of look from back then. They used to have like pleats. And, you know, I remember the 80s and 90s. They were really, you know, clothing was a little, a little different. So. Um, they sell for like $30, $40 a pair. So they're mom jeans tapered. So they usually do pretty good. You know, it just depends. I have a lot of jeans to list, like a lot, like, a, like literally like a rack full. I think this got a little damage there, but this is unopened. I think that that kind of happened in the process. It's got a little bit of, a little bit of bent in there, but got the Barbie 1999 vintage puzzle. Um, Almost 22 years old, so it's definitely vintage. I got to take that sticker off. It has the KB Toy Store sticker up there, so I'm gonna try to remove that. Sometimes, if you take them off right away, they come off pretty, pretty good. But this one's not. It's not gonna come off good the way that I want it to. So, you know, you can't win them all. This is. These are goodies. Um. January 1st is my wife's birthday, so I got her some uh, good stuff in there, some gift cards and, you know, things like that. So I picked up this Flyers hat. I'm probably just going to keep it. It is a Zephyr. Um, not all of them are vintage. I'm not really sure if this is old or not. Um, I I kind of seen ones like it, but not really. I mean, it was only, it was $8. I paid full price for this hat, but uh, being that it's in really good shape, Still not bad, not a bad price to pay for a hat. Usually, um, if I were to go, like my daughter got me a Lids um, thing for Christmas. She got me a gift card to Lids, which is a hat place. Because obviously, you guys see, I have so many hats. And um, I'm probably just going to keep this one. It's probably not worth reselling. I probably won't make enough back. But it probably makes more sense for me just to keep it and add it to my hat collection. So here is the, the Vey... Vaisson Laurent. There's the label. There's the tag. That's a crazy tag. That's made in France. Um, it is a French. It is a French brand, so they're probably all made in France. There's a little bit of ripping right here. This is old. Um, this may be from the 80s or 90s. I'm not sure. Um, how many buttons? I believe. I think there's a button missing too, because there's two. It's two holes here, and there's only one button on that side. So, um, this is missing more. This is missing another. It, 
one of the buttons was replaced on the sleeve and it's missing a button there. So may kind of lose a little bit of value on that. That's why you need to check your items. I always tell you guys that. And sometimes I just don't do that. I was going to get this from my daughter. Um, I'll put it on a mannequin, take a couple pictures and ask her if she wants it. I don't know if she likes Fox. Um, that Fox is a racing brand. So I don't know. It's in really good shape. It's pink. It's her favorite color. This is like a fuchsia pink. It's got the fur inside. It's really good. She likes to wear sweaters all the time. So I think that she could appreciate this. It's got a really cool design on the back. So I'll probably end up giving that to her. I think it was half off. I got two of these Foot Joy vests. They do have they do have embroidery on them, but it's really light and you can barely see it. So um, I will include it that in the um either in the title or the description i will try to figure out what that is but they were half off so they're only seven dollars so they were 350 a piece i got a red one and i got a there's another one where's the other one i think the other one is navy blue yeah and this is the same thing this is 1896 i'm not really sure what club that is it's obviously a golf club because these are golf jackets. I didn't know that the vests go for so much. The vests sell for like $30. They sell for more than the jackets do. So it's amazing. Like every time I get one of the jackets, I, I it doesn't seem like I get a lot for it. Okay, we got the Michelin Ness. I got this for my son. I haven't showed it to him yet. Lakers. So he's a big Kobe fan. Somebody's coming down the steps now to interrupt my video. Who goes there? Okay, not anybody for me. Alright, so they're forty dollars there. The community aid. Um each one I didn't really spend too much. These are zero restriction. This is a really good brand, especially if you can find the Gore-Tex. The Gore-Tex sell very well. I do have a woman's Gore-Tex jacket listed right now for like fifty dollars. If it was a men's jacket, it would sell for way more. It would sell closer to a hundred. Especially the big bulky golf jacket so those are the golf pants and they do they do very well i picked up the lost world because i'm going to sell all four of them i'm going to sell the lost world i'm going to sell jurassic park one two and three i don't know if this was the fourth one i don't know the order of the movies but i'm trying to get the whole set so i can sell them together so that i can maximize my profit <clears throat> excuse me and there was Salvation Army. Hmm. I think she made... Oh, $29. I was going to say, what? Didn't look right at all. All right, so these are Allegra. Whenever you guys see the butterfly on the side, you know that that's Allegra. Um, Allegria, Allegra. But um, these are like nursing clogs, um, casual. They're just clogs. But um, they're in pretty good condition. I did the bend check on them. Make sure they're not cracked or not rotted away or... But um, they're in pretty good condition. They do have um, a decent amount of tread. They don't look like they were really worn that much. There's actually not a whole lot of creasing in them either. But um, these ones are really cool. Whenever you find the ones with the designs and the crazy different colors, they always do well. Um, I should probably get about 30 or 40 for them. So, which is not too bad considering I only paid five for them. They were half off of 10. They were 9.99 and they were five bucks. I would have never paid 10 for them. It's there was no profit. Um, dance goes are always good to pick up. I did see, I did see another pair today. It was a different brand, but I put them back because they were they were just too scratched. These are in pretty good condition. These were also these were twelve dollars, so they were half off. They were six bucks, so not too bad. All I gotta do is just really wipe them down. I may have to put maybe some some a little bit of shoe polish on these, but probably not. I'll probably just wipe them with a wet. Um, cloth and they'll be good to go. But Dansko is another good brand that you want to look for. You'll see it on the bottom. And it's usually a European size, which is a 40, which is, I'm not really sure what that is in a women's size. But you'll see that on the inside. And you'll see, I think there's like a leather. Yeah, it has like the marking for leather because their shoes are all, they're all leather. Uh, this should be... They have like the the reinforced sides. So um not really sure what those are worth. I know probably right around the same amount, like thirty or forty dollars. 
decent amount. You know, not too bad. I did pick these up. I believe she actually just kind of threw them in because I was like, I was like, I don't know how much these are. I was like, but I'm not going to get them um, until I know how much they are. And she just like threw them in the bag and my total was $30. So one pair of shoes is going to pay for everything. And then I got the Laura Piana um, jacket. So there's four movies. At first I thought they were games. These are for the PSP, the PlayStation Portable. But um, these are all movies and I think they're like children's movies, but I'll probably sell these all together. Um, I have to look them up, look these titles up. There's no cases for them, so I'm going to have to just sell them loosey-goosey, just like that, and we'll see what happens. So, because, and I believe that we have another fitted hat. I'm just going to probably keep this one, too. Anytime, I, gotta, I have a lot of hats that are really, like, dog. Like, this hat is a newer hat, so this is a keeper, but I do have a bunch of hats that are, that are hanging up that I'm, that I'm still wearing, like my Pirates hat. There are certain hats that are really... They're in really bad condition and they just need to be donated or, you know, just tossed out. Or I'll probably donate them because somebody might want them, you know. Who knows? You know, sometimes it's not all about something being brand new or anything like that. Sometimes people just want certain things and that's that's just how that goes. All right, so this was half off. See, they don't understand. Like, there's always a way around. Like, this jacket is a Laura Piana jacket. I mean, I know I'm going to get at least... I'll probably get a, closer to 100 for this because this is a Hart Schaffner Marks Gold Trumpeteer. This isn't a super new label, but this is a, a newer label. It's not the really old one. So I'm not really sure what it is worth, but this is from Dillard's and this is a Worcester. Oh, this is cashmere. I didn't even know that. I didn't know that this was, this is Worcester spun cashmere. So this is Laura Piana um, cashmere. So it's probably 100%. 100% worsted spun cashmere. So this is a cashmere jacket. And I didn't know that. And look what we paid for it. We paid half of that. I paid $2.50 for a hard shaft and marks gold trumpeteer cashmere jacket. So um, I don't even know what this jacket is worth. It's definitely worth a good bit. I'm going to get started on some clothing tonight. I was... Um, I have some boxes over here that are sitting on the floor that I just kind of reach in, put in my photo box. I have my photo box that sits. I have a, a whole long table right here. Um, it's my like assembly table where I do my shipping and stuff. But um, I found a polo today. Like I said, I only pick polos up when they're when they got something going on. If they ain't got nothing going on, then they you know ain't nothing going on but the rent when it comes to polos. Okay, and if it ain't gonna pay the rent, I'm not picking them up. So here's a polo. Um, it's a large and it is, it's 100% cotton, made in China. It'd be nice if it was made in USA, it would be vintage, but this is called a cow neck. Whenever you see that, when it goes up like that, this is a cow neck. Um, it's got the buttons on it. The buttons are there, the loops. Always make sure that your loops are there because there's always those two little loose loops that go into these buttons in the front because it goes around and it buttons like this. So you need to make sure that they're there. Otherwise, it's no good. Um, I didn't see any holes. I didn't see any stains. It's really nice. It's a large. Um, it's a good size. I think I got like 30 or 40 for the last one. So not bad um, for the price was what? How much was that? That was 5'2", right? Something like that. Um, yeah, it wasn't that much. So we'll definitely make some profit on that. So it's a nice polo. Not my style, but... You know, it is what it is. It's not supposed to be my style. Got another polo. Here's a polo gold. That was half off. Half off of six dollars. It was five ninety nine, so it was three bucks. This is a polo golf Ralph Lauren. It's cotton made in Peru, whatever. It's a large, but it's a US open. I did see some US open. This is 2011, and I also seen there's another patch on the sleeve for um, USGA, USGA Marshall. So I did see some of these listed as well. So I'm just going to put this together and we'll see what happens. Um, I should be able to get at least 30 for this, being that it's brand new. Um, I, sometimes I take like 25. If something's been sitting for a while and it's something like that that's new, I'm going to make you know, a quick $20, just boom, get it out the door. That's not going to cost nothing to ship. It didn't cost me anything to buy it. It was only, you know, $2.50, $3. So definitely 
you know, a good score. So I only spent $30 at that store. So that's the whole idea when you go out, you know. Usually when I go out, one item pays for my whole, you know. If I'm, if I'm there and I find an item that's a really high-end item, um, I'll just keep shopping because I know that if, even if I spent 100 bucks in that store, that I'm going to get my money back off of that one item. So the rest of my items are all just 100% profit. That's how I look at it, you know. You don't have to look at it. Your business model is maybe different than mine. I mean... You know, mine might not be the best business model, but it's just my way of thinking. And, you know, that's just it. It is what it is. All right. Actually, you know what? I didn't look to see if these were the same color. This one's blue. Mm, see, I didn't, I didn't look. Yeah, they're both blue. I didn't know that. They're both the same color. So they're, they're both blue. So these are crayon cups with straws. These are really cute. This is probably something that I could just give to my granddaughter, but I don't, I, she would probably make a mess with something like this. These are vintage. These are from the 80s. Um, I believe I can get probably like 25 for for the pair. I'm going to sell them both together. I was hoping that they were going to be different colors, but maybe it'll be better that they are the same, the same colors. So we'll see. We shall see, said the blind man. So this was a good pickup. I usually don't, I don't even pick Orvis's up anymore. I don't pick these up because they hardly ever sell. But um, this was only five bucks. It wasn't half off. White tag was not half off, but it was brand new with tags. So I don't know what they're what they're worth. There's no value. There's no like price on it. This is Orvis. It's a heritage twill. Um, features fit. You know, it's just a you support habitat conservation. So yeah, it's just a flannel. It's just an Orvis flannel, basically. So. Um, being that it's new, I might get a little bit more for it. So I'm probably looking at about $25 to $30. Um, maybe a little bit more. Maybe I could get a lot more, you know, maybe $40. But I doubt it. They don't sell for that much. When you look for Orvis, you need to look for older Orvis. Leather, the old, um, the old hunting stuff, fishing stuff. Like that's where Orvis really, really sells. Like the, the just the flannels, they really don't sell. And that's not like a chamois cloth or anything like that. Like it's just a regular flannel. So it's not going to sell for that much. But for five bucks, brand new, I'll pick it up. Just to throw in my store and have something new, you know, just to spruce up my store. This was five too. This is called a bird's eye design. Whenever you see those little, they look like little like flowers almost. It's called bird's eye. Um, this is just a basic Woolrich flannel. It's not an old label. It's not real. It's not vintage. Um, it's probably like maybe in 2000s. Not really sure when. This is a wool blend, but Bird's Eye is a very, very good, um, very good um, pattern that you want to pick up when it comes to Woolrich. So, really good pattern. <sighs> I could get close to 40 for this, maybe. But something like that. What are you doing down here, putty tat? Smokey. Uh-oh. And what was this was the members only. Last but not least, we got one more jacket. Is this a large? This is a large tall. So we have the members only. That's an older tag. It's not a super old tag. I see really old members only, but I only pick the jackets up like this. Like the sport coats don't sell, the leather jackets. I just don't pick them up because I just don't think that they sell. I mean, if you guys think that they do, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. Leave a comment down below and let me know. But um, I just don't pick them up. You know, even for like, because they're always, I, I understand that people want distressed look. And that's usually what they are. But, you know, I just don't like to buy a lot of leather. Um, when, I, when I do my trench coats, they usually sit for a pretty long time. They do sell and I do get a decent amount for them, close to 100 bucks, But... You know, so just your basic members only. I'm not sure how good navy blue does. We're going to find out. Um, like I said, it was only $3. Three doll hairs. Three doll hairs. That's it. That's all she wrote. Um, I'm going to get started on some work. Um, get some video footage up. Got another subscriber every day. Um, I get another subscriber hopefully every single day, you know, for, you know, the remainder of me having this channel as long as I can possibly have it. Um, 
all my new subscribers. I appreciate all you guys coming in and watching my videos. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and leave a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. Peace. I'm out. I got work to do.